A new Christian pilgrimage has begun in Tasmania South. The walk's being touted as the Southern Hemisphere's answer to Spain's famous El Camino Santiago de Campostela pilgrimage. It's a walk of faith which has already attracted more than 200 pilgrims in its first year. I see a great future for this pilgrimage. I think it will go for centuries. It's the vision of former Hawke and Keating government minister turned priest Michael Tate. Father Tate says he was inspired to create his own version of Spain's El Camino. Walk in some way which allows their spirit to open up to the beauty of nature and therefore the divine beauty. That was my idea. The journey starts with some symbols. Scallop shells are linked to the Spanish pilgrimage and a pebble. I know personally myself I carried questions I had in my own life. So and when you reach the end you sort of throw away the pebble. The 32 kilometre journey moves between two Huon Valley towns. I decided to come over from Western Australia, see my sister and do the walk together. It's just a great opportunity to walk with a bunch of people and have a bit of a talk. Unlike the Spanish pilgrimage, there are no holy relics along the way. Instead, country roads and rural scenes provide a backdrop for spiritual reflection. Be silent for a while and to get out from the busy world and to experience God's love. To actually be a pilgrim means you're taking the country and you're, you're present to it. All faiths are welcome. A lot of people do pilgrimages. They may not have a, a, a deep personal faith, but they see the pilgrimage as a way of getting in touch with deeper uh, aspects to their life. The destination is the Spanish-style St James's Church in Signet. The journey's end coincides with the Signet Folk Festival, where walkers will be welcomed into the town to the sounds of a Spanish brass band. Fiona Blackwood, ABC News, the Huon Valley. That's ABC News for now. Next up, 7.30 with Hayden Cooper.